the fourth sector modeling should support the governmental policy making. And, and the important part is to deal with the dynamics between the policies, the forest resources and how we are managing it, the industrial production, the markets, economics and sustainability. So far, in most countries in the world, we are lacking this holistic picture. And it is rather remarkable that the European Union doesn't have a holistic system to validate their proposals or the policies from a holistic point of view on all the things they are cranking out. One way forward, possible way forward, is to combine the foresight studies with four sector outlook studies. And that you are using backcasting. So it means that you are starting with those alternative futures and you're using your outlook studies to go back and see how can you bring today's situation to those futures. The four sector policies must be set within a larger perspective and not just based on the forest resources. The forest policies and forest industry policies have to be developed in tandem. We, we have a rather remarkable situation among policy makers. A lot of interest is put to the forest side, but it's nearly taboo to speak about the industry development. And then we said, well, this is a model, it's 2070, 2100, it's far away. You know, let's, uh, let's not get too worried about that yet. But, uh, well, the actuality uh, was much faster. This is the, the spruce mortality in, in uh, Germany, in the Hartz, a uh, picture from the Hartz. All the brown is, of course, uh, dead spruce, but the bark beetle, uh, uh, the spruce gets affected by drought and heat in the, in the hot summers and is very vulnerable to bark beetle. The spruce mortality is already over 200 million cubic meters, which is unprecedented kind of mortality in Europe. That is difficult, as long as we have ample resources of cheap fossil carbon. It's very difficult to break through in, uh, in such a world, and only with, I don't know what, maybe taxes or uh, on, on or taking out these cheap fossil uh, access, only then these new products can break through. Oh, many also complained that Brussels was not interested, didn't have an interest in forest. But I think we have nothing to complain about anymore. Yeah, there's an, an, an enormous uh, growth of, uh, of regulations and, and strategies related to forests. The nature restoration law, of course, heavily discussed, uh, resulting also in guidelines, uh, the regulation on, on the, the non-deforestation goods, uh, the birds and habitats directive, still active, renewable energy directives. There's a massive growth of all sorts of policies related to forests. I do think that it's not very useful to fight against Brussels, but rather try to work with them. They are not going to go away, Brussels. So it's maybe better to try and have some influence and, and try to move that in a certain direction. In basically, we are all Brussels. For our purpose, the main equation in the dynamic phase is the equation that establishes the change in forest stock. The inventory in a particular year must be equal to the inventory in last year plus the growth of that inventory minus the harvest. Right? Now, the growth must be a function of the change in forest area, for you on one hand, and the change in the rate of uh, growth of the trees on the area that remains. And it is here, in that parameter, that we can introduce the effect of climate, uh, climate change. And that's how we, we are going to do it. If you summarize the data, you can see the difference between the developing and the developed world. 
the positive impact of the rise in temperature on production in developed country and the negative impact in developed country. It's almost symmetric. Make it as simple as you can so that you can communicate it and people can observe, make a comment and say, you are crazy, this doesn't work. I, I was upset about it. But later I realized that this was really a very useful constraint. Why? Because at the level of Africa or Latin America, you can say any nonsense. Nobody will know about what is Africa, what is Latin America. On the other hand, if you say Algeria, well, it's likely that someone out there is going to know the data for Algeria, or, or at least to have a working knowledge of this. And, and that's, uh, that, that's uh, important, I think, to make, uh, to make pro progress. I would say that from biodiversity perspective, uh, it's always important that the forest industry is sustainable. So it doesn't like many any difference wherever the industry is located. You always need to think about the biodiversity because also the industry's future depends on the state of the biodiversity. Mm, and if we want to achieve climate change mitigation in the forest sector in Sweden nowadays, from the past studies which were published over the past years, um, we know that by decreasing, for example, the harvest intensity in Sweden, we would get a large climate benefit from the additional forest carbon sink in the Swedish forests. So that goes into the direction of the scenario that you were just mentioning. But the, the point is now that also based on the forest sector models that we have today, we don't know how large the forest carbon leakage will be. And leakage here is a central term, I would say, because this gain in um, forest carbon that we may have here in Sweden, we don't know how much forest carbon we may lose in the rest of the world and where in the rest of the world that may be, because this then depends on the trade. I absolutely believe that, as I said earlier, I think our industry will change. And for example, we know that we will have more birch in our forest in Sweden in the future. And already now there is discussions on going and how can we take care of that. And there was a memorandum of understanding actually signed with France just a, a few weeks ago where we will look into this part and look upon how can we develop new products out of hardwood. France, France has also a lot of hardwoods, so, which they don't use very efficiently today, actually. They will change spruce to the beach, mainly beach. And we don't know after 30 or after 50 or 100 years what, what is the demand of the beach. It, it means that there's a great demand for new, new develop, uh, product de development concerning beach, especially beach, because they are good quality beats and low quality speeds.